okay done homework done i asked you to write take one a4 sheet paper yes sir and all the things what you are eating in the morning afternoon or the dinner time so different types of foods you will take and what are the different nutrients are there in that have done the homework good sir i almost completed it okay you just share the pictures to me in the whatsapp sure in personal sir yeah in personal you can share it to me in the whatsapp i'll check it and i'll let you know okay it with which time sir you can send now itself or you can send after the class also okay you can send okay. after the class okay deepthi good evening good evening sir karna near camp karna near camp good so we are discussing about the components of the food right yes sir so what we discussed yes. in this chapter mainly what is the nutrients 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 means what the process of consuming nutrients i mean nutrients require certain food and it development of our body and to or in energy known as nutrition so the process of consuming the nutrients for the growth and development of the body and how you are getting utilized that energy or the nutrients is called as a nutrition part so how the different types of nutrients are there carbohydrates proteins so fats fats next mineral vitamins minerals, minerals vitamins and the minerals okay daksh is holding the head right he is holding the hair so what is the protein present in the hair the keratin what is the protein name the protein yeah what is the protein name hair is made up of protein only what is the protein name The calcium calcium yeah. sir, sir, sir. then hair should be very strong right it should not come out at all <laughs> like a bone <laughs> yes sir no yes sir. then it's not the calcium mm -hmm. pragna will give the answer now what sir what is the protein present in the hair keratin what is the name keratin keratin k e r a t i n keratin keratin the protein which is helped in the growth of the hair okay so yes. so we have the different types of nutrients are there carbohydrates proteins vitamins minerals salts and the fiber so all so the nails also contain keratin right yeah nails also contain the keratin both hair and nails yeah so don't eat the nails okay to get the protein for your body okay. <laughs> that that it. Sir, then what is that black stuff that comes to your nail sorry sir some black like dust will come into your uh, nails right sir yeah, yeah i'll just get stuck the there particles. sir what is that sir so dust particles dust that's why we cut them sir mm. okay so about these things we discussed about the malnutrition good healthy diet so carbohydrates also we discussed it. which one will provide the more energy the carbohydrates or the fats fats or fats 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 good fats so fats will be stored under the skin right yes sir yes, yes, stored under the different parts of the body yes sir the thickness of the skin so when you are not carbohydrates eating, give you instant energy yeah carbohydrates will give the instant energy like sugar sure, okay. sugar is and all chocolates and all these are the carbohydrates only which will give the instant energy so when you are doing the fasting i hope nobody is doing the fasting are you doing no sir, sir i never did fasting in my life i didn't do one okay. so when you are doing the fasting we can't take the food right at that time you won't eat the food so you can only eat time, fruits and water our body requires some energy so during that times when you are not taking the food whatever the fat present in our body 
will be utilized to generate the food inside the body so fats will converted into the carbohydrates carbohydrates again break down to give the energy clear yes sir yeah so these are the different source of carbohydrates as we already discussed in the last class and i asked you to do the sprouting also have you done that sprouting sir way long ago sir no too busy in playing games sir we did that time only right sir but nobody has seen your picture after you had done that sir just forgot the sir before eating a <laughs> okay so sir, whenever we see food sir we just eat it sir we don't we just eat it sir yeah that's all sir we'll if i see food in, in the table sir i'll just take it and eat it good so now next one is the fats these are the common source of fats already we discussed in the last class any doubts in this no sir no sir proteins no sir no doubts what is the main role of protein in our body sir body building body building growth and the body repairing of the old body tissues and all okay right yes sir growth yes, of the sir. muscles okay growth of the body right so if you want to become the body builder you have to take the more amount of protein so in the market also it is available as the protein powders and all okay okay yes. so for the building of muscles and everything So the most common source for the protein is what? Plant source is from the beans, dal, mung dal, gram dal, peas, soya beans, and all. And from the animal source, mostly come from the fish, eggs, milk, eggs. and the eggs. So if you are a non-vegetarian, you just have one glass of milk and one egg daily. It will be good for you. We should provide different types of nutrients to you, right? Yes, sir. Milk is a milk is a whole food. food. It is a contain all the type of nutrients. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Egg is also same. It will contain all the type of nutrients. Okay, so if you are non-vegetarian, so egg goes, also. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It contain the vitamins, yes, proteins, and all the things. So it will be good for health if you take daily one boiled egg and one glass of milk. If you are vegetarian, okay, it's okay. You can drink milk, and apart from that, you can take any vegetarian food. Okay. Okay, sir. So. This is your growth stage, right? Right now you are in the at least of eight to twelve years of age. So yes. this is the growth stage of your life. So you have to take the proper nutritious food in this stage for the proper development of the body. Understanding? Yes. So you have to follow your parents what they are keeping for you in the morning or afternoon or dinner. Don't ask for other foods other than what they are keeping. Okay. Okay, sir. So next one, vitamins. So, what is the main role of the vitamins in the body? Sir, to keep us healthy from all diseases, sir. Good. What is the main role of the vitamins, Deepthi? Sir, it it keeps us healthy uh, from getting affected from diseases. Okay. Turn on your cam, Deepthi. Everyone has to turn on your cam until the last minute of the class. So again, we can classify the nutrients into different types. What are those three different types? Sir, uh, energy giving foods, body building food, and um, sir, protective foods. Good, energy giving foods, body building foods, and the protective foods. Right now, what are the energy giving foods? Sir. What are the energy giving foods? only pragna has to answer she left deep thing uh, she sir she's there sir she's there yes sir deep pragna is there right sir okay okay pragna are you there Deepthi, what is the answer? What are the energy giving giving foods? Sir, protein. Protein is not the energy giving foods. Protein is the body building foods. Don't confuse, okay? You can see it here. 
energy giving foods are the carbohydrates and the fats and the body building foods are the proteins and protective foods protective food means which will protect our body from the disease or the any other bacteria that is the vitamins and the minerals okay so vitamins are the follows the protective foods yeah it's okay no problem but pragna when they are asking you question don't leave the meeting just you can unmute yourself and you can speak okay unmute yourself sir you are always struggling sir but it's clear for others only right there is yes, no sir, issue for clear. others right no sir no issue okay just check your internet connection pragna so next one is the minerals minerals also have the same role but i think i asked you some minerals you have to write as a homework i am giving the homework but nobody is submitting the homework in the back i hope so so hana is writing all the homework questions what i am giving in daily classes yes sir okay so hana can you send me all the list of the homeworks which i sent to you in the last classes i mean last five classes yes after, sir i mean after the class okay good so minerals also i asked you to write in some minerals about some minerals in the last class what are the different minerals are present in our body okay if you have not done that homework now do it today what are the different minerals are present in our body and what is their role what is the function of that mineral is it clear what are the different types of minerals present in our body and what is the function of that particular mineral suppose if you take example like calcium calcium is present in our body in the bones what is the role of calcium which will increase the strength of the bones right like that you have to write down the minerals which are present in our body and what is the main role of that or what is the function of that tk jack dax so what tk samajh gaya tha na yes sir okay sir is it sir ha sir Sorry. Yes. Ha. Sir, in Hindi you should say ha. Okay. Oh, okay. Then you have to teach me other languages. I will teach you English and Telugu. That's all. Sir, I don't know English. Anybody is from other states other than these two, except Dex. Sir, I am from Odisha, sir. Then you have to yeah, teach me other languages. What Odisha. is your language? Sir, Odia. Odia. Hmm, sir. Okay. Last ten minutes we'll discuss about Odia. right now we'll discuss about the class okay okay sir yeah so water why water is very important component in our body lohini sir lohini what is the answer it's really required for our health as it use it is helped in our bowel movement and di digestion of food good generally So Hana, what is the answer apart from what Lohini said? She said yes, helps in the. What is the importance of water in our body? So water helps us to uh in uh, water helps us for our body and it is hydrated too. Can I in? No. Continue. Yeah. Uh, water helps us our body hydrate and uh if we don't mean I. Need water, I need many, 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 many. Yeah, water helps us keep the body hydrated. It helps in the digestion. And the main role is what, which will remove the waste particle from our body in the form of sweat or in the form of urine. Right? Yes, sir. And it keeps a uh, it keeps a temp uh, body cool. It keep it will maintain our body temperature normally. Yes. 
Okay, this is the main role of the water. Almost, if you take our body, sixty percent to seventy percent is only the water. Sir, seventy, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. The next one is the roughage. What is the main role of roughage? Ah, uh, digestion. Yes, Helps in the proper digestion of food and the constipation prevents the constipation. Okay, that is the main role of the roughage. Sir, few days ago I had constipation, sir. Okay, then what you have done at that time? Which juice you have taken? Sir, I ate nothing. Water, water. Water only you drank. You should take yes. the ORS, right? Yes, sir. I drank ORS, sir. Actually. What is the main role of ORS at that time? What it will do? Sir, give roughage, sir. It's not giving the roughage. During the constipation, what will happen? Now we will lose the salts present in our body continuously, right? The sir, stool will go in. We will lose the salts from the body. Sir, the salt, body, sir. Salts, yeah. So the water and the salts will lose continuously through our, our body. So to re to regenerate that one, we'll take the ORS, oral rehydration solution. So what is the ORS contains? Generally, it will contain the common. Sir, vitamin salt. C. Vitamin C, no. Yes, sir. Sir, it will contain vitamin. No, it will not contain the vitamin C. Generally, it will contain the common salt, okay, and the sugars, okay. Mm, salt, okay, sugar, sir, and the water. Say... That's all. Only okay. these three will be there. So apart from that, any flavor will also be there. Some in some cases. Sir, I have apple, sir. Yeah. That is different. That is the apple one, right? That is orange, sir. Apple one. Sir, I had the same one, sir, but it's orange. Okay, but we should not drink this one during the diarrhea time. Why, sir? What happened? No, oh, some of the flavors is not good during that time. So just check it on that box itself. Anywhere it is written. Sir, what ingredients, sir? Yeah, not in the ingredients. As a caution or something will be there on the box itself. Do not drink in diarrhea. Sir, you, can you read it, sir? Yeah. Why? How to use that one? A good camera to read that one now. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear us, sir? Yeah, I can hear you, but uh, power cut, so Wi-Fi problem. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. We can hear. You. So this is the roughage, which will helps in the prevents of preventing of constipation and the proper digestion of food. Clear. Yes, sir. Yes. So we have done that. We have studied the tabular column also. Vitamin A, B one, C, D. This yes, thing. sir. But vitamins are two types. Are there right? One is a water soluble. The other one is a water insoluble. Oh, fats. Oh, sorry. Or fat soluble. Okay, take it as a fat soluble. Yes. Then tell me which one is a water soluble and which one is a fat soluble. Fat soluble is uh, water soluble is A D E K. What is the water soluble? Sir, sir A D E K and uh, the uh, water soluble is uh, B sir B one B two B twelve. But what has given here? Sir A D E K is the fat soluble. Yes sir. Sir fat soluble vitamins. Fat soluble is A D E K, and water soluble is only the one that is a B. Yes sir, B. B one, B two, B three, B and C. Mostly will come B and C. Vitamin B, all the vitamin yes. B are water soluble, and uh, vitamin C is also water soluble. Okay. And the remaining vitamins are the fat soluble. Fat soluble means what? These A, D, E, K, all will be soluble and be stored in the form of fat. In the fat tissues, they will be stored. Understanding? The vitamins yes, are two sir. types. Yes, sir. A, B, C, D, E, K. 
out of this five to six different types again they classified into two types two more types one is a fat soluble that means these vitamins will be stored in the fat tissues the next one is a water soluble that is a vitamin b and c which is generally in the soluble in the water okay can we store the fat so water soluble vitamins in the body can we able to store the water soluble vitamins in the body sir no, yes right? sir no sir. we cannot store the water soluble vitamins in the body easily because always will regulate the water right it will go out of our body we will take so the sweating sweating or the urine and everything so water soluble vitamins we cannot store in the body we have to take it at the regular interval of time always okay but if you take the fat soluble okay. vitamins sir you can store it sir. we can store in the fat tissues so that once you take it now it can store it in the fat tissues whenever we required again you can take it from the fat tissues but water soluble it is not like that we cannot store in the body clear yes sir so vitamins are also called as protective foods which will protect us from the diseases and maintain our body healthy so which vitamin we can prepare in the form of sunlight sorry in the presence of sunlight sir vitamin d vitamin d what is the name sir vitamin d sir vitamin d, vitamin d is the vitamin which will prepare in our body in the presence of sunlight 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 vitamin okay sunlight vitamin then which vitamin helps in the blood clotting sir that sir why only sun sir like heat also will make it no, no. sir not in the heat only in the presence of sunlight sir no, why sun. only sun and <laughs> so we don't know we exposed to the sunlight in the morning time okay our skin will have the different types of uh, uh, cells which will undergo the reaction and produce the vitamin d sir sun contains heat only right sir sun contains no. the heat but yes sir but it will use the heat energy in the form of light rays only right yeah okay sir so it will convert in the little bit in the vitamin d in the presence of sunlight only okay sir okay but what is my question yeah blood clotting so which vitamin helps in the clotting of the blood during the injury time so no, vitamin c no pregnam sir what is the answer which vitamin will help in the clotting of the blood which vitamin d no Dipti. Sir, vitamin. Vitamin. D, sir. Vitamin. D. No, vitamin D we can prepare in the presence of sunlight. B one. Sir, it's K, sir. It's K. Good. Sir is asking from you. I have given the tablet call. I'm already to you. you have to compulsory remember the tabular column it's very very important this tabular column will you do that one the next class can i ask you that complete tabular column okay sir wait one second sir show the whole core tabular column sir just yes, you will find this okay i will you have to take the screenshot sir one minute please Yes, sir. Can zoom out. Sir, I'm taking. Can I take it? Can you see it properly? Yes, sir. It's proper. I can see properly. Yes, sir. It's saving, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So just read all these points in the tabular column. I'll ask you that in the next class. It's not only important for this standard itself. Six standard. You have to go for ten standard also. It will be there. It's a common basic things, right? Yes or no? Yes. yes so, what is the most common vitamin available in the citrus fruits? Citrus fruits means what? Which are sure. sour taste? Yes, sir. Lemon, orange, lemon, amla. Sir, orange. 
so which are the fruits are sour in taste those are called as citrus fruits so which one is the cit most common vitamin in among sir, citrus fruits sir lemon orange kiwi oh yeah yes sir then what is the vitamin present in those fruits sir vitamin sir vitamin c c c vitamin c, c. good sir i remember like c for citrus sir c for citrus so oh, very good <laughs> yes sir vitamin c okay suppose you are cooking the food which vitamin will be destroyed easily during cooking food during the cooking of the food which vitamins will destroy easily while cooking the food itself which c. vitamin will c. destroy easily c sir vitamin c vitamin c Sir, vitamin C is a water soluble, right? Yeah, it is a water soluble. Okay, sir. What is the meaning of scurvy disease? Sir, scurvy, sir. Sir, symptoms, like, sir. Uh, sir, it's like a bleeding of gums, sir. And sir, we. Sir, uh, sir. Uh, Uh, this uh, sir, sir, it's, sir, loosening of teeth, sir, and uh, this, uh, sir, our uh, heels would heal very slow, sir. I mean, bones will heal very slow, sir. Sir, uh, limbs will pain, sir, and sir, this, uh, sir, we will get uh, diseases easily. Ah, uh, sir, uh, scurvy, uh, scurvy is the. Uh, deficiency diseases of vitamin C yes, and the uh, and the symptoms are weakness, bleeding gums. Uh, we will get diseases easily. Uh, slow healing uh, of wounds, loosening teeth, teeth, uh, uh, pain in the limbs, spongy and bleeding gums. So this is the most common among the sailors in the ancient time. Sailors means what? Those who are traveling long distance for the longer yes, time sir. in the boats, right? Sir, it's because of this. Uh, sir, I heard it somewhere. Sir, sailors get it more. Sir, there you are. There are some stories in the English also about the sailing sailors. Yes, sir. Okay. So this. Sir, that's why common. sailors will have uh, some uh, uh, yak teeth, ma'am, sir. Okay. So they have the. This is the most common disease among the sailors. To reduce it, what they will take? They will take the vitamin C fruits or the any tabletic forms. Okay. So next one is the minerals. It's already given in the tabular column here itself. So magnesium, sodium and potassium, iodine, iron, phosphorus, calcium. Then what is the main role of magnesium? What is the main role of magnesium? What sir? Sir, What we can't hear. Can you hear me now? Sir, calcium. Magnesium. Yes, uh, calcium. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, calcium sources are uh, milk and green leafy vegetables. No, I'm asking about the magnesium. Sir, what? Magnesium. Can you hear me now properly? Sir, which one are you asking, sir? Magnesium. Magnesium. Okay. Now, can you hear me properly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the main source of magnesium? Sir, magnesium. Sir, uh, this uh, green leafy vegetable, fish, cereal, chicken, and vegetable. Okay, then what is the main role of that magnesium in the body? Sir, it will uh, this uh, it will regulate the function of the muscle and nerves. Okay, so I don't want to search anywhere. Just copy this itself in the minerals and functions of their minerals. I have given the homework for you, right? Yes, sir. You ask. Yeah. Clear. Sir, only minerals and yes, functions sir. of minerals. That's it, right, sir? Yeah, functions of the minerals. Yes, sir. The remaining things will study slowly one by one. If I give all at the same time, also it will be difficult for you, right? Yes.
Okay. So just now we discussed about the ORS, oral rehydration solution, which will take during the diarrhea time for the dysentery or will, constipation. We will, is, sir, we will take or we will not take. So ORS, we have to take it during the diarrhea time. Okay. Sir, you can drink it normally also. Yeah, I can take it in normal time. Yeah, I you drink it normally. So, sir, my mother brings it from the medical store. Yeah, good. If you drink it normal time also, it will be good. Just rehydrating your body, that's all. So, how we can prepare the ORS in the home? Sir, uh, there are six tablespoons of uh, sugar and uh, one tablespoon of uh, uh, one a tablespoon of salt. In one liter clean drinking water. Sir, so, maybe. So, just take one liter of water. And, yeah. add eight and one teaspoon of, of salt sugar. and one, uh, eight teaspoons of uh, sugar. One tablespoon of salt, you can add it. So there's a simple ORS which you can prepare in your home itself. Okay. Okay. So again, two types of fats are there. What are those two types of fats? I said them. Vitamins are two types. One is a fat soluble. The next one is the water, water soluble. Water soluble. But fats also two types are there. Uh, uh, saturated fats are uh, are solid at room te temperature and unsaturated okay. fats are uh, liquid and on uh, in room temperature. Is it clear now? He is a saturated fat. Okay, saturated fats and the unsaturated fats. So saturated fats means what? Which are solid at the room temperature. Sir, I know. Yeah, Deepthi. Sir, I did not understand this. Okay. So if you take fats, it is classified into two types. One is a saturated. The next one is a unsaturated. So saturated, how we can say? If you take that fat, if that fat becomes solid at the room temperature, then you can call it as saturated fats. If the fat is in the liquid format, at the room temperature, then you can say it unsaturated fats. Okay. Suppose you have taken the oil, any cooking oil. Sir, olive oil. Okay. And you have taken the ghee and the dalda. If you keep it in the outside atmosphere, what will happen? The ghee and the dalda will become the uh, solid format, right? At the room temperature. Yes, sir. And what about the oil, cooking oils? Sir, it is liquid at the... Yeah, liquid, sir. It is the liquid format only. So you can say ghee is the saturated foil and the cooking oil is the unsaturated fat? Yes, sir. Understanding now? Yes, yes sir. So if you take the fat, if it becomes the solid at the room temperature now, that is a saturated one. If it becomes a liquid, still it is in the liquid format only, it is an unsaturated one. So what is the meaning of room temperature? Can anyone of you tell me? Sir, room temperature is like normal temperature, sir. What is that normal temperature only? I'm asking. <laughs> sir, like how many degrees Celsius, sir? A ah, degree Celsius. Oh. Sir, like 20, right, sir? Sir, it's like uh, 29 20, degrees Celsius. Sir, 20, 20 degrees. Sir, 25 degrees. Lohini, what is your answer? Sir, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Sir. Yeah, Lohini, what is your answer? Sir, around 27 to 25 to 27, sir. Good. Deepthi? What is your guess? A guess, sir. Sir, uh, 96.8. Uh, okay, it's in Fahrenheit. Oh, Fahrenheit. Is it in Fahrenheit or Kelvin or the Celsius? Okay, good. You are saying in the answer in the Fahrenheit. 96 something is there in the Fahrenheit, okay? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Fair enough. Yeah. Room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and an average. Okay. okay. The average room temperature is. Then I took a guess, sir. Okay, 25 degrees Celsius. What is the body temperature then? Or body temperature? So 37 degrees Celsius. Normal or body temperature? Sir, so like 40. Uh, my guess is 35 to like 40 degrees. Suhana? Yes, sir. What is the normal human body temperature? Um, uh, 98.6. 98.6 is in Fahrenheit's value. Yes, the sir. Celsius. Yes. So minus 37 so degrees. 37.6 degrees Celsius. Yes, sir. 37.6 degrees. Celsius is the human body temperature. In the case of Fahrenheit, when you are visiting the doctor, so like 90 he will give the answer in the terms of temperature. 98.4 to 98.6. Yeah, they will say 100, 100 Fahrenheit. Or they will say 101. Fever is 101. They will say, right? Those are the units in the sir, Fahrenheit. over 100, sir. Yeah. So you can say it as a high fever whenever it is more than 100. What is it more than 100 and all? It is in Fahrenheit scale. Okay. Clear or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. So, sir, what are the temperature are measuring with the respect Kelvin, to the sir. wait wait whatever the temperature are respect measuring with respect to the thermometer it is in with respect to foreign heat units only okay 100 101 99 98 these are the temperature will measure with respect to foreign heats okay okay sir what about the kelvin now sir how, how do you measure kelvin sir normal the, person celsius value is there right Sir, then but, how do you measure Kelvin, sir? That is what I'm going to tell. If you have the Celsius, the temperature is there, right? For the Celsius, yes, just add 273 value. You'll get the answer in Kelvin. Sir, then like 310 Kelvin, right? No, if you take the 50 degree Celsius. If you want the answer same in the Kelvin, now, add 50 plus 273. So what is the answer? 50 plus 273? Sir, 320, right? 323. Where is Pragna? Yes, sir. 323. Sir, actually, I could not hear you, sir. I had some network problem. Can you tell the question? See, if you want the answer in the Kelvin, just to add 273 to the value of Celsius. But 323, 323. Suppose if you are if you are the 50 degree Celsius, if you want same in the Kelvin, just to add 50 plus 273 value. Clear? Sir, can I tell the answer? What is the answer? 323. 323. 23. Now Lohini will give the answer. For 100 degree Celsius, what is the Kelvin value, Lohini? Wait, remaining people. For 100, uh, 100 Celsius, sir. 100 degrees Celsius, yeah. Okay. 155. So what? No, 132. No. Just to add 273 to the 100. 273 to 100, 120, 123. One, we should not 100. subtract, we should add. No problem. Don't confuse. Sir, can you uh, give quiz on? 
Sir, yes, sir. Only ten minutes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. So two seventy three plus hundred is how much? Two hundred and seventy three. Two hundred seventy three plus hundred. Three hundred seventy three. Sir, easy, sir. Just add one there. Yeah, three seventy three is the answer. That is a Kelvin answer. Okay. Yeah. Sir, why only two seventy three? That is a constant value we have to add for the Kelvin and the Celsius degree. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, can you give quiz, sir? Please. You'll say again. Sir, next last class. class you gave, you told us you will give quiz today. Mm, yes. Ah, like that, I'm telling every class you are doing the quiz. Also playing every class. Don't worry. If I don't give class quiz in one class. No, sir, you really. Ah, Ashwath, I know. Daksh will give the answer whether you played quiz or not in the last class. Sir, we didn't. Sir, we didn't. All are playing nicely, right? Well, when sir? Lohini will tell the true answer. Lohini, we have done the quiz or not in the last class? Lohini, tell no, tell no, tell no. No, I mean tell no. She the truth is, we did it. We did, it. yeah. She will support me itself. What? Good. Sir, because we are decent, and she is not <laughs> yeah. decent, sir. She is very. Is it because you are only lying all? We have done no, the quiz. So today we don't have the quiz because we have completed this topic. Next class we will study. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, sir Deepthi, please can you give for homework? Homework. I already given homework also. Sir, second homework. Second homework also I given already. Sir, third. Third. Sir, then in the end of the class you can give a link, sir. Then we leave the meeting and we'll play like that only. No, no, no. We'll play in next class itself. Okay. Right. So first we studied about the fats. Deepthi, are you there? Just your image is got stuck here. Check your internet connection once. Yes, sir. Because her screen is black, so her camera. Okay. So listen here carefully. First we studied about the vitamins. There are two types: fat soluble, water soluble. Water soluble. Fat soluble are the A, D, E, K, and the water soluble are the B and C. Next, we studied about the uh, fats. Again, there are two types: unsaturated, saturated. Saturated. Sir, ghee and Saturated means which are solid at the room temperature. Unsaturated means liquid, liquid at the, at the room, temperature. room temperature. Now we are going to study about the minerals. Again, these are two types. Okay. One is the macro minerals. The other one is the micro minerals. Sir, A and I. So minerals are again two types. One is the macro minerals. The next one is the micro minerals. Macro means what? The minerals which are required in the large quantity to the body. Macro means what? Those minerals which are required in the larger quantity to the body is called as macro minerals. Minor minerals. So there is what? Written, then what is trace minerals? Trace minerals are the minor minerals. Both are same. Okay, micro okay, minerals sir. are the trace minerals. Both are same. So trace minerals means which are required in small quantity to our body. That is the trace minerals. Then. Yes, sir. Okay. Now clear. Any doubts in that? No, sir, no, no. So, no deficiency of the carbohydrate cause what? These are also very important. So, deficiency of carbohydrate cause? So, lack of energy and stamina. Lack of energy and the stamina that we will feel weak. Okay. No deficiency of the protein will cause? Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. We can yes, hear you. sir. Yeah. Deficiency of the protein is cause. Crash your crash your car, sir. What is the name? Crash your car. Crash your car. Sir, it mostly happens in Africa, right, sir? 
yeah where, which are the people or who are the people is uh, eating less amount of protein it will cause the cashew worker so most common in the africa in some regions in the world sir so like they will be very skinny yeah but whenever there is a deficiency of both protein and the carbohydrates what is the name marasmu what is the name sir sir sir, sir maramas you cannot say it properly right It's very dark, sir. So marasmus. Yeah, both protein and the carbohydrates. This is called as an marasmus. Marasmus. Okay. Deficient of the vitamin causes night blindness, very very anemia, scurvy. Very very anemia, scurvy. Scurvy and rickets. Okay. So deficient of the water. Dehydration. Sir. Dehydration. deficiency of minerals osteoporosis osteoporosis rickets anemia and goiter goiter sir osteoporosis what is the meaning of osteoporosis sir uh, uh, like rickets in children it's for uh, adults sir. adults same as the rickets in the children that means deform um, irregular in the formation of bones sir they both are opposite sir adults and kids hmm. anemia Sir, anemia. Sir, anemia is like sir the deficiency of iron. Sir, it's like. Good. Go ahead, Ray. Sir, so sir, iodine. Iodine deficiency, ah? Yeah? Iodine. Sir, our legs become so swollen. Any doubts? No, sir. Nope. 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 then if you got the less marks in the exam also i'll say it nope yep 